Hello and welcome back. So I got home from work today and reached in the bucket that of locks that Bobby Key sent me. Um, this is the last one that he sent me. Um, it is a silver American lockout tag out. Um, and this one just, well, 1105 probably, or 1100 series. This is an actual 1100 series, which I've, I've picked them. Uh, 1100s, 1105s. Um, but yeah, so at any rate, um, this one is pinned by, uh, Trekmaster 30. Um, realized that, uh, um, West Coast Pick sent me a silver one as well, pinned by Trekmaster. So, and I think Trekmaster sent me a silver one. So I think I've, I might have, I don't know how many silver, um, Americans he pinned up, but hell, I've had, I think I'm getting them all. <laughs> so, but this one is from Bobby Keys and, um, I figured I would put it in the vise and see what we can get, get into it. It still has a mummy key. Eh, I haven't touched it, so. Um, and I should be able to use my 50,000th on that. I can. And uh, let's see, being a Trek Master, I'm going to want all the feedback I can get. Um, I'm going to use my Thin Gem. Um, 15,000. Or, yeah, 15,000. Uh, yeah. Um, and let's zoom in for you guys and see anything we get. And we're going to go fairly light to uh, medium tension to start with and search for a binder. Okay, I got a little bit on, um, so like four. I got to click off of him again, or five probably, I think that was. He's probably got this pinned up to six. I can't imagine him pinning it up and not making it six. That's two. Maybe two doesn't want to go. Getting a little bit of feedback on him now. Huh. Ooh. Huh. Lost my feedback. And I just overset one. That was two again. Oh, okay. Just got good rotation. That was off of five. Oh, even more on four. Got a deep false set going here. Counter on five. Okay. I'm going to need something thicker. Um, let's go with my DeForest. Okay. I think I got him. I lost my false set. I think I dropped some other things. Okay, I got it back on two. Oop, a little bit on three there. Alright, I still got that deep false set, but I'm not getting any feedback. I'm guessing T pin. Wait a second. Slightest of feedback there. Ah. Uh, all I did was drop pins, I think. Okay. 
I'm slowly getting it back. Okay, got it. Wow, that's a deep false set. Again, slightest of feedback on five. Okay, I got to click on him that time. Had to heavy up on my tension a little bit. Try not to drop some of this. Okay, I got it back. We are playing with a some kind of spool here. Oh, there it is. I was on three. Wow, good luck, man. Um, I don't know what you put in this one, but we're going to find out. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. Almost kind of curious what that bidding is like, too. Um, that was a little uh, tricky, so... I'm guessing he had really crazy bidding on this one. Um, let's see. Yeah. Screwdriver and pinning tray. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Um, yeah, for a padlock, uh, that put up some fight. Usually there's not a lot of, I mean, stock padlocks don't have any mystery to them, but but even, uh, even when they start putting modifications to them, they still don't usually put up a huge fight. Because, well, unless you start doing crazy things to their springs, I've seen that. You put a, a heavier spring in it, and it'll mute the feedback completely. All right, it is picked, but what I'm going to have to do, um, unless I want to lock it back up, but since the key is mummied, I don't want to lock it back up. I'm going to take my uh, pick. I'm going to turn it all the way upside down. Make sure I don't turn that upside down, but turn it all the way upside down and then turn it the other direction past that. Actually, before I do that, hold on. Nope, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay. Just because I got it. Um, all right. And then I want to get that clip off of there. Got this nifty little tool that should work. And it did. So that's awesome. And take my small follower. And I'm going to use that end. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to shim it. <laughs> Let's do that first. It is a challenge lock. Probably going to be glad that I did this because obviously I have no idea what's in here. With some of that feedback, I felt like uh, a T pen or something in there, so I'm guessing probably a good idea. All right, that's as good as I'm going to get it. It won't. It doesn't want to go all the way in, so we're going to push this through and hope for the best. Um, key pins are now up. There we go. Got it. <laughs> yep. Okay. I see it. I see it plain as day now. One is at the shear line. Four is at the shear line. And three is all the way, I mean, at the ground there. And uh, five is off the ground too. So that's some wicked, wicked bidding. Um, you can also see, hold on a second here, that um, looks like four is reduced diameter. And then I'm already seeing threading in the chambers too. So yeah, he's done some work to this one. Uh, one, definitely an overset trap. Nice looking serrated. Two is a serrated. Three is a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. Four is that T-pin key pin. Definitely an awesome pin. Um, five is a serrated. And six is a serrated as well. So that's what we had in the key pins. Let's see what we have in the plug here. Um, wow. All right. Kind of hard to see. Um, looks like one. Yeah. One, three, four, five, and six are all threaded. And I think there's threading in there. And two as well. Yeah, there's threading in all of them. Okay, hopefully maybe some of that will pick up. So, yeah. 
think I'm getting that. There we go. Yeah, all, all chambers were threaded, so... Um, let's see what the magic is upstairs. Let's get that shim out of the way. And... Let's see here. In one, we have... A serrated. Commercial serrated. And a copper spring. In two, we have a another commercial serrated and a copper spring. In three, we have a <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep, we got a pin and pin. A very serrated pin and pin. Good looking pin there, bud. Um and a copper spring. That was what was holding me up, I think, partially, was that uh, that pin and pin. It was giving me some weird feedback there. And then we have a serrated spool. Oh, crap. I just jumped all these pins. I believe... Yeah, we had a drunken spool. And a pin and pin. I'm not certain for sure whether it was. I'm gonna have to look at Bobby's video. To find out. But yeah, that's a drunken spool. Pin and pin. I'm guessing. Oh, and another. Yeah, there's the pin and pin. And all the springs were the same. They were all copper. But wow. Sorry about that. Um, I'll watch Bobby's video and see how this was. Um, but in the uh, core, it looks like, I mean in the Bible, it looks like, yeah, all the chambers are threaded. Every one of them. So, awesome job on that. Um, that added quite a bit to it. But now I don't feel so bad about it taking me so long. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Zoom in and show you these awesome, awesome pens. Um, let me give you guys a nice, clear view of these. Um, looks like we had a serrated in one. Focus. There we go. Serrated in one key pen, uh, serrated uh, in uh, the driver. In two, we had a serrated and a serrated driver. All Both of those are commercial. Then we had a very short key pin that went all the way to the roof with a uh, pin and pin. The outer was serrated and the top of that pin was serrated. Um, then we had a T pin key pin with a serrated spool. Um, and then we had a serrated with a serrated pin and pin. Uh, and the outer, outer was serrated and the top was serrated. Um, and then we had a serrated key pin, which by the way, that's just an ups it's upside down in there. There we go. Um, we had a serrated key pin and a drunken spool that's serrated on the bottom. Um, yeah, that's what was inside this American. Uh, thank you, Trickmaster30 for making it. Um, Bobby Keys, thank you so much for sending this lock and all the locks that you sent me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time and don't break the law. All right, guys, a uh, quick addendum here. Um, after <laughs> checking into it and looking at Bobby's uh, channel, and uh, he had a crazy gutting with it too, um, I wanted to make sure that I got this on film so that somebody can check it uh, for future reference. This is the correct, after reading the comments and looking at everything, this is the correct orientation of these pins. So um, we're going to go over this again real quick just for solidarity um, so that somebody else can uh, see these if, if they need to. Um, again, we had uh, serrated in one and a serrated uh, uh, top, uh, serrated in the bottom key pin, serrated in the uh, Bible uh, driver. We had a standard and a T pin, uh, pin and pin. It's serrated on top with the uh, serrated collar. Then we had a T-pin key pin and a serrated spool. Uh, in five, we have a serrated key pin and a the T-pin is facing upwards with the uh, collar uh, uh, serrated on top. Um, and then in six, we have a serrated 
a key pin and a drunken spool um, in six. So that's the pins in this awesome lock. Thank you again, Trekmaster30, for making it. Thank you again, Bobby Keys, for sending it. And uh, thank you guys for watching again. And don't break the law. Bye.